How do you manifest something? You sacrifice for it. Sacrifice is the name of the game. Point blank, period. End of discussion. Nobody gets an opinion on the matter. And I'm so sorry if that's off-putting, but some people click on channels and actually want answers. They don't want confirmation bias about just, oh, if you buy this gemstone from your local wizardry shop, you know, on Diagon Alley, that's right. You know that Harry Potter shit, Diagon Alley? <laughs> corner uh, and back to the studio and I thought that I would um shoot this video in the daytime in order to balance out that 30 minute dark ass video that I shot with super low camera quality where we kind of talked about the um the nature of memory and actually kind of what's going on not necessarily from a uh, neurological perspective but a little bit more of a utility level like how would it benefit you but you can find that video on the channel somewhere else um so i've been writing a few papers on manifestation and i got quite clear on some things and um i enjoy writing because it helps me formulate the thoughts find the best jokes put things in sequence and prove to myself that i really understand the concept but um personally i hate to fucking read mm, I, I find it annoying as shit I'm more of an auditory or maybe a visual learner um, just from video and photos and stuff like that. Um, music, movies, whatever, podcasts. So, uh, you know, well, hence the YouTube channel, Zach Sims. But to bring it to the video topic of the day, manifestation. Anyone who's been on this channel for two or three videos, 10 or 20 minutes, they know I hate the empty woo-woo shit. I absolutely cannot stand the unsubstantiated, nonsense, pacifying, watered-down Hinduism that is Chakra Sarah, or New Age Nathan, or whatever. I absolutely hate it. Manifestation. It's not stupid, because life's a dream. So conscious manifestation would just be, well, best understood as, I mean, literally lucid dreaming while you're awake. But we're not going to get too far into the Eastern mysticism with this video. But what I want to help people do is actually I want to start with this quote. It is the dumbest quote I've ever written. But I wonder if it's the most profound. And it's the idea that if you've done it, you can do it. Again, right? And <laughs> a lot of people are focused on things they, they're scared to try or they haven't done before. So, you know, well, fair enough. But what about the things you did last week that you're still anxious and insecure and butt hurt over trying again? Let's talk about those for a second, right? But how does this all tie into manifestations, eh? Well, I mean, simply, it's... um. Everything you've ever done ever has already been manifestation by the most literal of terms. I mean, how'd you get your shoes? You picked a store, you picked a, an Uber or, or a bike ride, or you, know, you put gas in your car to get there, right? You picked the mall, you picked the shoes, you picked how much money you were about to make, I mean, I'm sorry, how much money you were about to spend, and you got yourself some shoes. <laughs> How'd you um, manifest the boyfriend, you know, the girlfriend? You put yourself out in the open. You caused a few conversations. You had a thought process and chose this person versus that person. You picked a few dates, a few movies to watch. You manifested a girlfriend. You've been doing it your entire fucking life. You know? 
but how have you been doing it your entire life? What's missing from the concept? On Chakra Sarah's channel, you know, 369 manifestation method, light this candle. Really, it's just hard work, but that's not worthy of making a video about it. Everyone knows it takes some work, whether they say it out loud or not, I, I couldn't tell you, but everyone knows that. But here's where it becomes good. How do you manifest something? You sacrifice for it. Sacrifice is the name of the game. Point blank, period. End of discussion. Nobody gets an opinion on the matter. And I'm so sorry if that's off-putting, but some people click on channels and actually want answers. They don't want confirmation bias about just, oh, if you buy this gemstone from your local wizardry shop, you know, on Diagon Alley, that's right. You know that Harry Potter shit, Diagon Alley? You know, they all want that nonsense. Sacrifice, okay? In the olden days, I'll expand upon something Peterson once said. You know, we used to do human sacrifices. Blood sacrifices to the moon gods. We'll call her Luna. You know? And now, in 2022, in a civilized society, you just sacrifice your, your weak to the weekend gods. It's the same thing. You know, five days of internal torture doing something you don't want to do in order to go to a Friday movie, a Saturday baseball game, and Sunday brunch with orange juice that you have to put vodka in because you're fucking basic. You know, you sacrifice your week to the weekend gods. Pretty simple. Um, let's use a few more of those things. Um, the easiest one to use to really drive the point home is you sacrifice time to get money to get the object. Okay? It could be a personal possession that you buy. could be a, uh, a trip to Europe. You know, you sacrificed all of the other options of your European travels to pick Scotland. You sacrificed time to get the money. You sacrificed the few days it took for planning. All right? Some more examples. Celebrities sacrifice their privacy in order to be famous. Doctors sacrifice their 20s in order to become, you know, worthy doctoral candidates or surgeons or whatever it is in the medical field. All right. I sacrificed time, other activities, and a lot of foods to manifest a body that is 65 pounds lighter. Fuck with it. I sacrificed drug use, well, besides nicotine, in order to get a clear philosophical mind. Because I had found in my studies that drugs help you ask questions, but sobriety helps you find the answers. Sacrifice. That's how you've manifested everything all along. Manifestation is nothing new. You've been doing it since you were four. You know? You sacrificed... Now, what would you do when you were four, Zach? Let me think about this for a second. Um, you sacrificed your favorite toy in a sandbox to make a new friend. I'm not sure if I have some camera issues, so I'll just re-say that. But it's, you know, when you're four, you don't do a lot of sacrifices because your parents are still helping you out. But you might sacrifice your favorite toy in a, in a sandbox for a few minutes to get a new friend. You know, if Billy wants to be friends with Tommy, he might sacrifice his favorite Tonka truck or the risk of losing it to make a new friend in the sandbox. You've been doing it your entire life. I sacrificed, not necessarily just for this reason, but it, but it is one of the reasons. I sacrificed the ability or the desire to have a family in order to get the free time to work on myself and get my full potential as a, you know, as a spiritually inclined being, as opposed to starting my clock over with a little mini me. I'm very fond of this quote um, from the upcoming book. It's that it is easier to teach your child how to walk 
than it is to teach yourself how to fly. I mean, that's obvious. You know how to walk, so you can teach a little kid Carter how to walk. You can teach a little Susie how to walk, but try to find your potential. How far can you really go in this weird, mystical, floating ball of water while you're trapped in a goddamn monkey body? You know? How far can you go? I find that a lot of people make kids, you know, it's like you're born a one, you become a four on some arbitrary scale from one to ten, and you're like, well, I'm ready to make kids because now, you know, I know what Christopher Columbus Day is, and I know what a bank account is. No, 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 no. That's a different video, but I sacrificed that cultural norm in order to actually find a, a god, whatever that means to you. Right? Everyone knows what I mean, but it might be a little subjective on some of the details, but in case I'm losing anybody, sacrifice is how you've always manifested. It's always been that. I opened up a decently successful recording studio. I sacrificed my bedroom. I now sleep in the living room. And my fridge was always humming in a weird way, so I sacrificed my fridge in order for this recording studio to pay all my bills and be a full-time musician. I sacrificed everything. And I'll just go grocery shopping two or three times, you know, a week and buy groceries that are, you know, non-perishable or vegetables that are safe on the counter. Fuck a fridge. I sacrificed a car to save money to open up this business. Sacrifice has always been how you've done anything. Um, what are some other examples? Um, let's take an alcoholic. Yet. You know, he's really struggling with the alcohol. Well, maybe he sacrifices that addiction in order to be a better dad. Seems kind of obvious. Stephanie might sacrifice some of her friends in order to become a better version of herself because they were actually toxic. Not just in a um, funny comment, you know, shutdown word. You're toxic. Uh, Y'all be using that word too much, but sometimes toxic people do exist. I mean... Obviously, right? Um, if I want to get another 20 years onto my life and manifest a longer lifespan, I'm going to have to sacrifice these cigarettes and everybody fucking knows it. I use them in each of my videos as a, as a great example of it's just a little object that can work in so many philosophical, you know, metaphors and thoughts. And you know, it's an addiction. I cling to it. It's bad for you. Humans like masochism. That's a universal trait. I mean, I can use this to start off a thousand discussions. Well, that's a lie, but I could probably use cigarettes to kick off 20 discussions. Yeah. Accuracy above everything, you know? So you want to sit down and you're like, okay, manifestation. What is it? Oh, making shit you want happen. Well, you know, besides sacrifice, I got another quote. It's, um... A better defined problem is an easier solved problem. Kind of the more data, the more you know, the easier it is to fix. If uh, if Lauren can't tell me why she's mad and I don't have any data, I ain't gonna be able to fix that shit, bro. But the same thing goes for manifestation. A better defined goal is an easier solved goal. Or an easier achieved goal. Let's use that. A better defined goal is an easier achieved goal. Boom! So that's manifestation for you guys. Figure out what you want for real. Vision boards can help. That is some new age shit that I find beneficial. It's hard work. Don't let these liberals confuse you. And I don't mean liberals politically. I, I mean the um, super free thinkers that think everything's just magically okay and they bubble wrap themselves with compassion and, and crystals. I don't necessarily mean it politically. I apologize for that. You know, hard work, then sacrifice. And then, do you really want it? That's always the question. You know? Because the lottery curse is a thing. If you get too much too quick, it will ruin you. We can imagine someone that got married a little bit too quickly. Maybe she married her first boyfriend or he married his first girlfriend. Nah, he got that marriage too quick, man. He needed to go through a few more 
trials and tribulations to really iron out yourself and figure out what you're looking for in a mate or a significant partner. Too much too quick can ruin you. And the universe knows that. So it's that simple quote of him. If you want it, prove it. The universe will give it to you. But some things are going to be really hard to manifest. And here's another uh, great example of the lottery curse. Give me 10 people who learned how to walk through walls overnight, and I'll show you 10 new bank robbers. Give me 10 people who learned how to walk through walls over 20 years, and I'll show you 10 new sages. There is some real benefit to the slow game. Because if you give up after six months, you probably didn't want it. And it'll be an assumption, but I think it'll be a safe assumption. If you give up after six months, you don't deserve it. Possibly, if you give up after six months, getting it that quick would have ruined you. Back to the lottery curse, right? So... What's the summary, Zach? What's the takeaway? What's the shower thought version? Manifestation is nothing new. You've been doing it your entire life. So frame it as such. Because if you've done it, you can do it. Um, sacrifice is the name of the game. We've been doing it for tens of thousands of years. But now that we're civilized, again, we don't have to sacrifice a virgin's heart to Luna the moon, God. You just sacrifice your Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And probably Thursday and Friday in order to have a good to the weekend gods, like we said. Um, if you want it, prove it. And one more, one more golden nugget takeaway. Real spirituality's hard. It is. There are a few Alan Watts thoughts that might suggest we just make it hard, and I'm open to that, so I can stand to be corrected, but don't try to manifest a yacht with some quartz and happy thoughts. Don't try. You'll just be wasting your time. As far as I know. I don't really know you, but as far as I know. And then this could spiral into another conversation, but I want to keep it kind of short on this video. We're about 17 minutes. Start with your dreams, uh, your nightly dreams at night. When you can start manifesting in a world that seems on the surface more subjective, more your own, if you can start there in a world with no physics, no time, and no physical pain, then you can slowly start to bring that down to uh, wherever the fuck we are now. The, the third and fourth dimension, and the fourth dimension being time. So, that's manifestation. Zach Sims, fuck with it. And, um, I have a lot of fun being kind of like the ratchet sage. I enjoy that. Hope people find some benefit from it. It's work for me. Um, shit, thanks a lot for watching, y'all. Appreciate it.